at the scenes tell us in their texts 2,500 years ago, very precise language, that every human lives in this earth in three worlds at the same time. We live in the world of thought, the world of feeling, and the world of emotion. And their texts actually say to us, when these three become one, when the thought and the feeling and the emotion are merged, are married together into a single potent force, then when you say to the mountain, move, the mountain will move. Now, I used to believe that this was a metaphor. And now I have seen in the monasteries of Tibet, and I've seen with the holy and the sacred people in Bolivia and Peru, in the native traditions of the desert southwest, in the medicineless hospitals in Beijing, China, this is not a metaphor. It is a literal fact. When thought, feeling, and emotion become one, we literally can change the stuff our world is made of. We can rearrange the atoms of matter through the belief waves that emanate from our heart. So the question is, when we are experiencing judgment in ego, what is that saying to us really? Well, the first thing it's telling us is that we are not in our heart because the heart has no judgment and the heart has no ego. When we are experiencing those, those qualities, uh, it is coming from our mind. It's coming from our inner child. It's coming from our fear, from our families, our perceptions, our conditioning. But it's not coming from our heart. And this is so interesting to me because I, uh, I'm using the English language now. And in the English language, uh, it, the language is not designed for this conversation. Other languages are. Sanskrit, for example, ancient Sanskrit. Uh, in Sanskrit, there is one word that means the energy body of the human, for example. It is prana. Um, in English, there is no single word for prana. So we have to take other words, put them together. Uh, uh, energy body or uh, electrical magnetic field or something like that. And the same is true when we speak about the language of the heart. There is no word in the English language that describes the language of the heart. Part of my heritage is southeastern Cherokee, Native American Cherokee. And in that tradition there is a word that means the single eye of the heart, the heart that doesn't see right and wrong and good and bad, it simply sees what has happened with no judgment. And that word is shante ishta, shante ishta, the single eye of the heart. And so the goal of many ancient traditions, early Christian, early Jewish, early Buddhist, Native American, uh, and now the scientific principles today, is to find a way to view the experiences of life, what happens in the world around us, our relationships, our finances, uh, our health, through the single eye of the heart, the eye that says, yes, this is what has happened, without saying what has happened is good or bad or right or wrong. 